Hi, my friends, it's Victor Spekin. And today I'm again here with a very short video, and then we're gonna be talking about the moon in one of those houses, so that I can show you how to build your readings up. Now, I've done a moon series in, um, in each of the houses. So if you are interested in that webinar, then I'm gonna be putting the link um, in the comment box. And I've also done a video about moon in each sign. Um, both of them are a good uh, four to five hour um, webinar. So you've got loads to take away from those. So I'm gonna put the comment in the comment box, um, uh, both of the links. I do believe Moon is the most important planet in your chart. Moon talks about how you uh, react in, um, in um, certain situations. Moon is going to be talking about how you uh, um, can gain happiness. So I'll give you an example. If you have got Moon in Sagittarius, let's say in the eighth house, then you can gain happiness through teaching, which is Sagittarius. Um, for instance, awkward studies, right? Because that's the eighth house. So you can teach about sexuality and so forth, or how to reconnect with your soulmate. And, um, and you can go on about it. Obviously the aspects are gonna um, um, count quite a lot as well. So if you wanna learn more about the moon, then uh, check out my 12 week course. Um, I think it's worth it. See you soon. Moon in the 12th house. Um, okay, so uh, Moon, soul intention in the 12th house is to behave as if spiritual growth were the main purpose of life. So the Moon here definitely wants to be connected to the unreachable. Now, I want to put it out there. I don't necessarily believe that the 12th house talks about faraway countries. So that's going to be something which we're not going to mention here. Um, and the reason why I don't believe that 12th house rules anything to do with faraway countries, because it doesn't really make sense. Why would the ancient came up with foreign countries and faraway countries? Okay, from a travel perspective, like how far I need to travel, that's fine. However, I do believe that it's more about the, the cosmic travel they were referring to. So in a way that, uh, you know, nowadays what we call as past life regressions and so forth, well, they believed once you die, obviously your soul is gonna go on this huge journey and they're gonna try to find, uh, you know, the new body for themselves. So we're pretty much talking about a very, a, a very karmic, very fated, very godly house, you know, but also because it's an invisible energy to the rising sign. Therefore, it does mean that uh, it's some, it is something to do with your uh, inner demons as well. And this is the reason why 12th house is called as um, uh, the secret enemy house. But you also need to know that having moon here, it does mean that your own secret enemy is yourself um, and the reason being is because your emotional needs might not be clarified your emotional needs are um, not uh, visible even to yourself somehow it is swept under the carpet the, the moon really needs to learn how to switch on their psychic antenna right they need to be able to um, deal with these energy shifts as well, what is going on around them. It can be um, like a psychic undercurrent. It can be the fact that you are able to connect with the dead and then you find it absolutely strange and you don't know how to handle it. The moon might get lost in their own world here. The moon always wants to connect somehow, right? And we're talking about the house of dreams, the house of uh, um, uh, like dreams and the in real part of the, of the subconscious. So the moon gets stuck here because I feel a lot better 
uh, it is fascinating me how good it is for me to be here. But come on, think about it. Why? What is so scary in the physical world? So this is one of the ways how the moon wants to escape here. Uh, the moon is going to be shifting. One moment I feel good and then one moment I don't feel good. The moon needs to learn how to uh, recharge the battery. So it's very important that moon goes to bed around 10, 11 o'clock uh, in the evening so that the moon can fly on the spiritual plane, recharge the batteries and the energies, get in the new information, downloading the new information from the galactic center and then coming back in the morning and then feeling emotionally energized. Um, you know, another thing the moon needs to learn is how to emotionally ground themselves because they are like, as I said, psychic antennas. They are very spiritual. They are extremely good at uh, opening up the portal between the real world and the parallel world. And, um, and, um, and it's just very draining. You know, uh, if someone was watching the Vampire Diaries, I was, that was a very good um, series. I loved it to bits. And then it was Bonnie in there, and she was an anchor. And whenever a, um, whenever a, a, a deaf person wanted to cross the border between, of course, the real world and the alternative world, um, let's call it heaven or whatever you want to, then she felt an extreme pain on her. Uh, she felt an extreme pain because the dead bodies were crossing through her own body. And this is how exactly I see the moon in the 12th house. You are soaking up other people's energies. And then um, they drain you completely. And then, and then you become depressed and then you want to lock up the door and you don't want to leave your home and uh, you just live in a fantasy world. This is typically a, a, some type of uh, princess uh, type of story uh, also can be the question here. So moon in the 12th house tends to spend too much time on the pity party and, and they need to be able to get out of that. Uh, they have got the tendency to kind of create some psychosomatic illnesses for themselves. They are creating so some type of um, uh, symptoms. They don't even exist. You go to the doctor, they don't know what's wrong with you. Okay. So the mood needs here is to, to have this deep... Um, deep connection to the psyche to god or to your soul basically and what is the moon gonna do here because i want to run away from all these spiritual crap so i'm gonna work a lot i'm gonna become uh physically overwhelmed and work is gonna become an escapism for them or the sixth house cast is going to become an escapism for them. So if it's Pisces, they're going to turn to alcohol, drugs, you know, because they don't want to face the spiritual side of them. Okay. Um, in many cases, they feel completely misunderstood. They feel that they are monsters of some type. So they need to isolate themselves. Um... Somehow, you know, something in uh, maybe actually a hard aspect is going to be showing you what is keeping you uh, to truly discover your emotional needs here. Because as I said, it might be completely um, invisible for yourself. Um, moon in the 12th house, maybe they need to learn how to stand up for the underprivileged. Maybe how to face reality and how to conquer their inner demons, such as any type of physical substances. So I'm talking about um, things like uh, overcoming uh, addictions. Well,